Hey guys, this is Danny with eLive Designers. Today I'm going to show you how to use at FontFace, uh, the CSS3 to w uh, way to pull in a custom font face into your web page, and um, you know you'd be able to copy it and uh, you know use it as body copy if you like. So um, what I'm using is Defont.com, and I'm just going to choose a font face that obviously isn't web safe. Um, make sure that uh, you get the rights to use it, and see this one is completely free. So I'm just going to download this, uh, save it onto my desktop and uh, extract it so I get the uh, the files very good I'm just gonna pull that file into my desktop so I don't uh, lose it and then what we're gonna do is um, pop open font squirrel uh, dot com and uh, this site is actually really cool uh, it has tons and tons of uh, font kits on there uh, all these kits are usable um, yeah they got thousands so uh, what you're gonna wanna use is the app font paste generator and what that does is it generates a web safe way to use this custom font face. Uh, so this is the uh, the way to get it on there. So you do the uh, add your font. So I'm just going to choose my uh, font, the new one there. And then uh, these are uh, ways to use it. Um, they come with different fo file formats and the amount of files is different when you do this. So um, I just choose the optimal way. It's never steered me wrong. So once it's there, um, you have to let them know that you have the rights to use it, and then you'll get this download button. So once you download it, what it does is it generates the kit, and then it makes uh, the files and it zips it up, and then you could download that. And uh, once that's done, you could um, extract it, and then uh, I'll show you how to pull it into your website. So uh, once that is going, what we're going to do is uh, create a root folder on the desktop. Um, so just get a folder, name it root, and um, in this folder we're going to create uh, just a template HTML page, uh, something with inline styling so that we could uh, do this kind of quick. So I'm just going to choose uh, this guy here. That way we have some inline styling. Uh, I'm going to save it. Uh, I'll save it in the, uh, in the root folder we just made. There it is. Call it index html there we go and I'll hit F12 so we can view it in the browser uh, there we go oh it's already done so hit OK um, you know let's pop this up on the on the desktop as well and uh, I'll extract this cool so uh, what I need from these is um, these files is I just need uh, from from here the EOT file down to the WOFF file so I'll just hold shift grab those guys and I'll throw it uh, in my root folder and uh, we'll pull up the style sheet as well and uh, this already is a complete uh, style sheet I guess so for for the uh, app font face that we don't even we don't even need the external style, style sheet we could just pull this copy it and we'll throw it uh, in line with our uh, in my style sheet here. So we'll do that. Uh, let me save this. And um, I haven't showed you how the, uh, this is how the page looks so far. I refresh this. So there we go. Um, so what I'm going to do is just change out this, uh, this H1 tag here. And um, so you can see how it looks. So you can see here, um, the path is uh, within the root folder. So there isn't anything like uh, if you wanted to do uh, a different folder for it or something, put it in its own font file, that'd be fine. Um, so the uh, font face we uh, downloaded is called that there. What we're going to do is um, do an inline style to call this at font face. So right here in the H1, we're just going to uh, do a style and we'll do a font family. Even though uh, I could just put in uh, one font face in there, it's still, uh, regardless, it's called a family. So We'll do a. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, let me copy this. Um, there we go. And um, all, all I did was pull in a from this. Jeez, uh, I can't talk right now. The uh, <laughs> the wording here, uh, which is just the font uh, name, and then uh, copied it here. And then we're just going to do the. Uh, just for emphasis, I'll do the uh, font size. We'll make it pretty big with uh, 3Ms and save that. So now you see the uh, H1 has the inline style uh, calling this font face and it knows where to get it from here. 
So now if I save this and pop over to the browser, there you go. So we could do that. Um, we could do it as m many times as you want, as long as you do the inline styling to override anything. Uh, that'll be pretty good. So um, yeah, I believe that's it. You can see that you could copy it. Um, you could do whatever you need with it. That's about it. Thank